seconds whenever this says we're live. Three, two, hey, there we go. Says we're good, so let's get everything moving now. How's everybody? Oh, shit, hold on. Uh, let's get everything moving. Tigers and Twins. Give me the away. It's uh, one out with a... Oh, what do we got? Uh, two outs now as the guy gets out. Make sure you drop some likes to help the stream out. Get some people in here early on. <coughs> Excuse me. Here's Torkelson with two down in the first. Um, Obear is pitching again. Eey. Hopefully we have a better game against Obear than last time. Looks like it's fucking cold, though, in Minnesota. So, Torkelson digs in, two outs. I'm getting my chat up right now, so now I'll be able to see what everyone's saying. How's everybody doing? Hopefully we're well. What's up, Totem? What's up, Yusuf? Nice to see everybody. Sorry I've been gone for so long. Um, I do have good news. Uh, I will be around for most of the games remaining. Um, this week I'll be able to do all the games. I'll just be a little bit late cause I get out of work at seven. The games start at like 640. So I'll, it'll be like this weird, uh, uh, oh, and two called strike. So I'll be kind of like late, but not like super, it's kind of hard to explain. I'll be live by like 730 though. Maybe 720. I'll probably get, I'll probably aim for 720. So we won't miss much. So expect a lot more Tigers, especially after May 20th. Um, pretty much every game will probably be in play until football season starts. Fouled away, one and two. Hey, man, nice to see you again, Yusuf. Um, I'm going to remember what your team is. We played you guys early, right? Ace, that's right. Yeah, you guys are a lot better than um, I remember. Or what? than I think anybody thought you'd be. What's your guys' record right now? And Torkelson flies out. That'll be the third out of the inning. Quick little one, two, three to start off the game. We'll see Julian, Jeffers, and Kirilov. 8-11's pretty good. A lot better than some teams. Uh, it'll be, again, Julian, Jeffers, Kirilov, uh, Larnack, Buxton, Miranda, Castro, Camargo, and Martin here for the Twins in the bottom of the first. And uh, Reese Olsen will be pitching for the Tigers. Could be pretty good. By the way, if you haven't dropped a like yet on the stream, I'd appreciate it if you can. It'd help get some people in here. I think we still only have, like, two. Um, Maybe three. Yeah, way better. I would I would say I would agree. Yeah, three likes. That's pretty that's pretty good. Uh, especially since no one's saying anything. Uh, make sure you guys drop a like to give the stream some interactions. It'll really help out. Um, getting the stream out there, getting more people here. Uh, I'd appreciate you. Yeah, the Guardians, the uh, Royals have been good this year. What's up, Tony? Plenty of good baseball in the Central. I think six or seven of the top seven records in baseball belong to teams um, in either the NL or AL Central. I think, what was it? I, I have the, I know the, who, who they are. Um, who is it? Uh, it's okay. The Braves, the Yankees, and then it's the Guardians, Brewers, uh, Royals, and Cubs, and then the uh, Orioles. Those are the seven best teams. Pretty good. The whole uh, the whole Central run has been uh, good. And then of course you've got the East teams. We're just waiting for the bottom of the first right now. All right, ball one here to Julian. What's up, Seth? Appreciate it if you guys are dropping likes, helping the stream out. Ball two. Missing a couple pitches here to begin early for Olsen.
I gotta work tonight, but not till six. I'm guessing this game will be finished by six p.m. Called or that one's fouled away. Two and one. What's up, Henry? Hey, I was gonna say you should just be happy that your team's um, right around five hundred as we uh, draw toward the end of April. That'll be ball three. 3-1 three, count now for Julian. Favorable count for the hitter. Hopefully Olsen can uh, deliver a nice pitch to maybe get him to swing kind of, you know, swing over top of it or some shit. Don't hit a pop-up. We can't deal fly balls. Ground ball, yeah, maybe. All right, foul the way. Good job, full count. Hopefully this team plays better defense uh, than it has been. <clears throat> Should have won that game handily yesterday, but, uh, you know. And he walked him. Uh, damn it. What's up, Space? Yeah, I don't really have any issue with the Twins. I don't like them because they play in the Central, but otherwise, I don't really care. All right, well, we give up a leadoff walk. Here's Jeffers. Hopefully, we can get a double play here. Called strike one. Oh, Seth, you're, oh, you changed your picture. I was going to say, yeah, Yankees are one of the best teams in baseball, right by the Braves, right? Or do the Braves have the best record in baseball? Foul the way, 0-2. What's up, Henry? Yeah, D backs so D backs score a lot of runs. <laughs> yeah, you guys are off to a pretty rough start. Um it, numbers indicate you guys will turn it around though. Your guys' team probably won't hit this bad all year. One and two. At least in my mind. Um it's kind of like how the Royals, I think, are hitting like four hundred as a team. Along with Cleveland. It's like that won't sustain. <laughs> it's just you can just kind of look at like advanced numbers and be like, well, that's that's completely out of the norm. Unless the Royals are literally just like one of the greatest hitting teams we'll ever see. Um in Cleveland. Well, Cleveland could have a bunch of good hitters. I don't know. They have some they had some really good young talent for a while. Two and two. One on. Need an out here. Most likely things will start to figure out. I don't know what the Tigers will do. Their hitters will probably improve, but it's just the question of can they sustain this pitching that they have. They were very, they were one of the more elite pitching teams last year. So, you know, by the numbers, everything kind of indicates that they'll just carry through with this pitching uh, through the year as long as they stay healthy. But very early in the year, pickoff attempt, nothing going. We'll see the 2 2 soon here. Ideally, we can get a ground ball, maybe turn two. Foul the way another pitch, we'll do another 2-2. Two -two. <clears throat> Early season, I, again, one of the things you want to do is try to tread 500, but the 6-12 and 12 start is not idea. Still early enough to completely change things around and get back to like uh, a good mark. Ah... Uh. <clears throat> and another foul ball. We'll do 2-2 two -two again. Blaze Alexander. That's a cool name. Blaze. You think you would have been a pitcher being named Blaze? Dodgers keep losing to the Mets? Eh. That's the Dodgers for you. Yeah, I remember that from when we played you guys previously. But Olsen looks like he's also struggling with command right now. And he's in a 3-2 count. The ball was in the dirt. Hopefully the runner didn't advance. Olsen's looking like he's having a tough first. Hopefully we can pitch around this.
Yeah, the Twins are six and twelve right now, but that's it's only six games, so that's a quick. Like, oh, there we go. This could be a ground ball. Again, when you have a catcher running, it's a very good shot to get a double play. Yeah, that's all right. He didn't hit a ground ball. He pops out to the first baseman. The Tigers win that little battle, so they get one away. Now up is Kirilov. Another good shot at a double play with the first baseman up. <clears throat> yeah, Twins are very patient at the play. That's why I think they'll turn around. Just nothing's going their um their way. No. No, they've been playing close games, the Twins and Tigers, the last, like, three or four. They've been scoring runs, but they've been close games. 0-1 to Kirilov. I don't want to throw that pitch there again. In about 1972, he's fast. That's a pretty cool thing. Looking up, like, old stuff. No, they don't stay fast for long. Their knees start to go pretty quick. How tall was Carlton Fisk? Yeah, they're not a great hitting team, but they're even hitting below where they usually do. When they get back up to speed, they'll everything kind of goes for them. What is crazy, though, and this is no disrespect, uh, Soto is the best player that the Yankees ever got. Um, he might be. One and two. Uh, balls in the dirt, hopefully he doesn't go. The only thing that's going to stop runners today is the fact that Jake Rogers has an absolute rifle behind home plate. What's up, Keith? This was about 6'3". Yeah, that's why he slowed down. If he'd have played first, he may have never lost his uh, good speed. I think tattoos are cool. I just, uh, I, won't, I don't want to get one because I have very uh, weird fears. Two and two now. God damn it. Tried to back pick. Nothing going. He's way too focused on the runner right now. He's missing bad. Um, but I don't want to get tattoos because I'm afraid I'll get a disease. Oh, did they get him? Oh, no, they struck out uh, They struck out Kirilov. All right, two down now, runner at first. Let's see if we can get Larnak. Probably, yeah, their best hitter right now. No, I, I'm afraid of getting HIV from a needle. What's up, Jody? Yeah, Texas wasn't great, but at least we didn't get swept. Taking one was pretty good. No, I don't. Yeah, people can get tattoos. I think they're cool. I like what I like the artistic part of them. Um, I just have I'd probably have them if I didn't have my own personal fears. Damn. Yeah, some you know, base running is not all about speed, though, Yusef as well. It's a it's a valuable tool to steal bases, but you don't have to be super fast to be able to steal. Yeah, we'll see, Keith. Hopefully. But I don't I don't want to get an infected AIDS needle and get a fucking AIDS from a tattoo. Uh in May. Well, uh, yeah, I know. That's why I said right now, Larnack is your guys' best hitter. And I don't mean like Larnack's your best hitter all the time. Just looking at your lineup and guys who are producing, his, he's your best hitter right now is what I meant. Yeah, yeah, no, I know it's Buxton or Lewis probably. I saw, or even Correa when he's not hurt. Two and two now on Larnack. Hold on a minute. A lot of stuff. I saw this gangster yesterday on the bus all tatted out, and even his eye was tatted, but damn, that's pretty crazy. Do people get them to look cool? Uh, sometimes. Some people get them for symbolic reasons. There's all types of reasons why people get tattoos. What's up, Wade? I, it's never an exact reason why one person will get one and not. And a lot of symbolic reasons. Some get them to look cool. Some just kind of like them. Um, you know. I'm just enjoying warm weather before I go home. I've been seeing my family. Hell yeah. Well, I'm glad you're enjoying the nice weather. What are you down in Florida? Hell yeah. There we go. Olsen gets a strikeout, ends the inning. We'll head to the top of the second. It'll be Carpenter, who's been the Tigers. The Tigers' best hitter right now is Kerry Carpenter. Um, he's hitting 328 with a 992 OPS. Uh, Carpenter, Veerling, and Keith. So I've come back to the, to the team after a few days off. Wencio Perez has been a great addition to this team. Riley Green is heating up. Spencer Torkelson's heating up. Kerry Carpenter is white hot. Colt Keith still sucks and can't play defense. Even Javi looks like his numbers are way improving. Even Austin Meadows is almost hitting 100. Looks like everyone's getting better, except fucking Colt Keith. Huh. 
You've been in Georgia? Nice. That's not bad. No, you're good, Henry. No reason to be sorry, bud. It's a generational thing. I think so. Yeah. Some people get them for family reasons, um, like Samoans do. What's up, John? Hopefully you're doing well. You have no tattoos either. Yeah. I, I Again, I have no problem with them. And again, if I wasn't so adverse uh, and afraid of them, I would probably have them. As soon as the pitcher throws it, uh, run. Well, it's a commercial break, by the way. We're waiting for the next uh, top of the second. Pitcher gets it run while it's going from behind. No, there's not that. It's There's ways to steal bases. Nice weather. It's in the 20s here. Yeah, for us as well. Crappy. I'm sure for John, the weather's pretty nice. No, that's Charles. I'm sorry. Wrong person. Funny caddy. Yeah, because... um. Gio Rochella got hurt. So yeah, Buddy Buddy Kennedy's on the team now. I think I got everybody. I remember game one of a doubleheader for the Twins with McKinstry. Oh, God. Yeah, Harbaugh got a 15. It was on his uh, upper arm, I thought. But yeah, he got a tattoo. Yeah, then they put him into pitch and he gave up a home run. Fucking goddamn McKinstry, dude. Yeah, yeah, I remember McKinstry, man. Trust me, that was terrible. Anyway, Carpenter's up now. <laughs> uh, Carpenter, Veerling, and Keith. That was a that was a pretty bad moment. Yeah, the Lions jerseys are great. I really like the new Lions jerseys. Ball one outside. They're, they're the perfect homage to the um re the the retro jerseys, the '90s jerseys uh, from the, like the Sanders era, and like the blend of the modernity. I think the black ones look really cool. I think they look better in person and in game action. Uh, one and one. <laughs> You're a Michigan fan? Hell yeah. I'm a, I don't really like either team. I guess I'm a Western fan now because that's where I'm going to be going to school. Yeah, I think I got everybody's stuff. Okay, we're good. Yeah, they're, they're, the black is their new color rush. Yep. That's actually now the color rush. They have black pants, black jerseys, and uh, that blue uh, and black decal helmet. 2-2 two -two count here on Carrie. Scary Carrie. I got into my MFA program. <laughs> Hell yeah. We got in. 2-2. Two and two. So now I'm going to uh, go get a fancy-ass degree and become a college professor. Which is why starting on like May 20th, basically, I'm going to be available for like every game. Oh, you're good. You're good. I haven't really said anything. Uh, Kerry Carpenter gets out one away. Here's Matt Feerling. What's up, Emmett? We can easily say the Lions. And the Lions logo is male, but what about the... Uh, I think they're all probably the male version space. Nice. Who do you guys play, uh, Henry? Uh, creative writing, Yusuf. Yeah, thank you, John. I appreciate it. What do I want to teach? Uh, creative writing. Just, you know, uh, could be poetry, could be short fiction, uh, whatever. Two down now. Veerling gets out. That was a quick at-bat. Oh, nice, man. Do you, uh, what, uh, how far did you go with it? Suns game one. Oh, good luck. The Suns won't be easy. But I, I don't really follow basketball. I don't know if they're good still. Here's Colt Keith. Hopefully he can do something. Two down now. We'll see what happens. All one. I wish the Giants add new uniforms because the old ones was awful. New York Giants? They might. A lot of teams are getting new unis. Oh, yeah, Laura. Hopefully you guys beat him. God damn it. Cole Keith gets out on the second pitch. That was a very fast inning. O'Bear makes quick work of the Tigers. We'll head to the bottom of the second. Uh, we'll bring up. It'll be Buxton, Miranda, and Castro. Buxton, Miranda, Castro here in the bottom of the second. Do I like to read? Um, like... Like poetry, like the more experimental stuff. It would take a while to go over like everything. Uh, I like a lot of like um, Camus, 
probably my personal favorite writer. I really like, uh, God, I always forget his name. E. Cummings is, is one of my, is another one of my personal favorites. I know this is going to sound stupid, maybe not understandable, but I really like Trey Parker and Matt Stone. If that makes sense as writers more than just like the cartoon show makers. If, if that makes like, cause I consider, um, Trey Parker, a genius writer along with Matt Stone. Are you a little, no teaching is something, um, I'm very, I'm beyond excited. What's up, Richard? Yeah, and I write a lot. And like most of a lot of what I write, long form is satire. Even most of my poetry is very satirical. All Minnesota teams start with letters near the end of the alphabet: the Twins, Timberwolves, United Vikings. That is pretty weird. Space. I wonder if they do that on purpose. Tonight is uh, Burns versus Reagans. That's a good matchup. Book of Mormon. Yeah, that that one Tony's. Yeah, it's great. South Park is a masterpiece. Um, most of what they do is is solid. All right, uh, bottom of the second. For like modern writers in poetry, I would say that um, Diane Seuss is very good. I like Dean Koontz. Yeah, those are pretty good books. Those are very engaging books. Brings you into the book, uh, read chapters upon... Yeah, 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 exactly. Very engaging. You don't even know what's... Like you're into it, into it. Uh, Reese Olsen's pitching for the Tigers here in the bottom of the second. Had a good first inning. Pace. <laughs> the twins average like 65. Yeah, they just don't cash the runs in. Oh, five. Oh, okay. I was going to say that seems like a crazy mistype. My bad, Henry. I got you. I got you. How you doing, though, Richard? Welcome. One, two now, quickly here on Buxton. Western is an interesting choice. Yeah, it's, uh, I got accepted there. I think in fiction, you would probably love uh, Coover is the... All right, I'll keep it in mind. Who do you think will win AL MVP? Juan Soto, probably. Yeah, it's good for me. It's a great school, too, for writing. Buddy Kennedy is like 88 speed. Oh, we should use him soon. <laughs> we could use the speed. Actually, this team's pretty quick uh, anyway. Two and two here on Buxton. Very dangerous hitter. And he gets a base hit. Their their men left on base for the Twins is like eight to nine. Yeah, that's pretty bad. Oh, that's a double two for Buxton. Well, a leadoff double for Buxton. Um, now up is Miranda with a runner at second. Spencer Turnbull two and zero oh with the Phillies. Yeah, Spencer Turnbull's been very good for the Phillies. Richard, we should have kept him over stupid fucking Maeda. But there was problems with uh, Turnbull. We were having issues. You know what I'm laughing at recently? The odds for AFC East change on the day. Yeah, it's because teams change and get better and get worse. It's, yeah, it's the off season. I appreciate it, Yusuf. Have a good day, man. Thanks for stopping in, man. It's nice to see you. Enjoy the evening. Yeah, he, cl he clapped the shit out of that double. And that's a one, one count now as Miranda swings way out of the zone. Rob, after the Orioles play the Royals, then they have the Angels. Okay, those should be, um, the Angels and A's should be manageable. The Yankees will be tough. Yeah, Henry, I agree. He just doesn't have it no more. One and, or two and one, ball misses. How much did, did Turnbull sign for 23 million? Uh, I don't know. Olsen's probably a starter. He's just having a rough time hitting the zone right now. Hey, there we go. Hopefully that ball was hit to the left side so the runner don't advance. Two mil. How do we save 23 by letting him go? Hell yeah, that was hit right over to the third baseman. Good shit. They get the first out of the inning. Now let's see if we can get... Oh, goddamn Willie Castro. It's like hit and miss. He either smokes us for an entire game or doesn't do anything. Hopefully we get the uh, Willie who has a bad game against us. Hey, man, what up? Welcome. Hey, you just popped in. How many likes are we at? I haven't checked in a minute. I think we were at three the last time I looked. We could be at all of four or five. 
Made I got 25. Oh, there we go. It's a good uh good way to pay him. We are at 17. Hell yeah, I appreciate that, guys. Very kind. Yeah, Castro's is very hit and miss. Yep. Defensively great. Very fast guy. Um, he just fucking just gets out or it's all or nothing at the plate. Very frustrating. The White Sox, yeah, they're having a terrible year. Um, the White Sox are doing an Oakland A's. Jerry Reindorf, who's the owner of the White Sox, I believe, has been trying to get the White Sox out of Chicago for three decades. But, you know, it just, every time they try to move them, the the Bud Selig would block it and say, no fucking way are you leaving Chicago. Uh, one and two. That's a ball. The hitter is Willie Castro, obviously. Yeah, uh, it's out in Kalamazoo. Ah, damn, it was a wild pitch, too. Runner gets to third, so now it's a runner at third. One away. Good shot at score here. Fuck. Yeah, maybe you'll be right, Wade. What are your take on the gaps? What's the gaps? I'm sorry. Oh, my take on the gaps? Do you think that's a good take? Two and two. Uh, obvious chase would be Indianapolis metropolitan area. Never understood Chicago. No, the, Chicago. Yeah, I don't know. That's I'm not sure what's going to happen, but yeah, Buxton got to third on a wild pitch. One Oakland and Vegas. I think that's where they're going. And he may end up in New England or a good work fast. I mean, he could be good. It's just, ah, damn, they got the running. I think it's a sack fly. Nope, it's a bloop single. No, they made a great play. It's just Buxton's too fast. So that'll be a sack fly. Good job by Green. Great play in the outfield. Really a great play to make a catch on that. Uh, but they got the run in on a wild pitch. So one nothing Twins lead. Wait, no what? You saw that on his stats? Funny Kennedy? Okay. Tom Fish about his 420 life. Hell yeah, Tom. Hopefully you're having a good day. Fargo White Sox. Yeah, I know. They're, I think they were almost moved to Tampa, um, to several other expansion cities. Um, I don't think Indianapolis would be good for baseball. Maybe, actually. That could really help out with a lot of weird shit. Oh, and two. The gap between May and Daniels is medium size, if I'm being nice. Ah, uh, okay. You put, you put, okay. So for you, Ven, instead of it being like Caleb, huge gap, and everybody else, and then like, or, or like the top other top guys, and then like a very small gap between like Radler for you would be like Caleb gap, Drake May sizable gap, the field. Yeah, I'll be live tomorrow. Yep, I'm live for pretty much all week for the Tigers. Hell yeah, Henry, <laughs> two and two. Maybe the Tigers can score a run in the first eight innings. Uh, Carolina's on the list to get a team. Hell yeah. All right. That we limited the damage to just one run that inning. Great job. But the twins do strike on a wild pitch that gets bucks in the third sack fly drives them in. So we'll head to the top of the third tigers could use some runs here. We'll see Baez, Meadows and Rogers. So, you know, <laughs> uh, they've almost got a 300 average between the three of them. Yeah, I got you now, Ben. I feel you. Um, yeah, you, you may be right. You may be more accurate on that. I'm surprised. Carol Carolina's on the short list. Nashville, Charlotte, and Vegas are the teams that'll probably have them soon. New Orleans, maybe. I don't think there's a gap between Daniels and everybody else. Uh, it's a fun. I love that movie. The show. It's probably one of my favorite games I've played in a while. Maybe the Met Honolulu. No, they won't put a baseball team out there. Uh, Okay, I think I'm caught up on everything. If I missed anything, just repeat yourself. I apologize. Uh, but again, it's Baez, Meadows, and Rogers here in the top of the third. 1-0 Twins lead. Let's see if the Tigers can get some runs back off Aubert. We usually do well off Bailey, but not the last couple games. Then tomorrow, or wait, what day is it? Saturday? Yeah, to, wait, is it Sunday? No, I have to work today, so it's Saturday. Um, tomorrow is the final mock draft. What's up, Daniel? And Lions fan, in the MLB show streams, I am uh, will be doing one tonight. Um, we're about to start year two. I got the team into the playoffs, and Rob Dirty uh, 
He went what, like one for 11 in the three games I choked. Yeah, I, I stopped using the stuff where he played at colleges. Um, I'm just looking at more like what he can do. I don't really, I stopped caring about that a while ago. I just say it to be funny. Yeah, those are fun streams, I think. Uh, I'll never forgive the UFL for removing the Seattle Sea Dragons. Yeah. Hilarious team name. Doing good, Kenny. How you doing, man? Welcome. All right, here we go. Baez, Meadows, and Rogers. It's good. Tigers going to Florida next. They can thaw out. <laughs> yeah, Richard. Yeah, I know. Being in Tampa will help out. Uh, it won't hurt. Um, what Angels Twin Series? Oh, in the in the show, yeah, that was bad. Yeah, those are those are hilarious. They're just mauled fests. It's the same thing, but instead it's baseball. And I'm pr I'm pretty good at the show, but I play on a low difficulty. Uh, Bias gets out on a ground out, one away, first pitch. Yeah, I'm not looking forward to playing Tampa. We need to kind of win this series, um, because we're playing Tampa. Oh, I hate the drop. Yeah, I know. We're already one out in the top of the third. Fucking 30 minutes in. 34, technically. And Meadows flies out. Two away. At least Meadows hit that into right field. Like he's on top of the pitch. Like the timing wise. Rob, I need the other team to beat the... Orioles rivals the Yankees and the Rays beat the Red Sox. Okay. You just need all those. You need everyone to lose. I feel you. <laughs> I know how that feels, Lord. And Miami just kind of always sucks. I, I honestly have no idea why they're so bad. I don't, I didn't think, oh, that's the end of the inning. All right. We'll head to the bottom of the fourth or yeah, bottom of the third. Sorry. Uh, it'll be Martin, Julian. And that was like four pitch inning, dude. I don't think we've struck out once. I think we're about to clobber this dude in the second time through the order. You hope that a coffee crawl? Hell yeah. I bet you that was fun. Zero zero seven. Jesus, Phil. No one's scoring in that game. Uh, Martin, Julian, and Jeffers. Nine, one, and two here in the bottom of the third. One oh twins. Your school has all this time to do coffee crawls. Yeah, I I do, Jen. Um, Rodgers almost hit a home run. He hit that to like the warning track. So I think the Tigers may start clapping the shit out of Bailey here in the top of the fourth. Yeah, Tigers are a late inning team anyway. We clobber up bullpens. We clobber up other stuff. And yeah, I'm not, I'm not super worried about this. Is just they, they don't score the first time through on like never. No, I, Kenny, I'm messing around. I'm messing around. Drop can of orange shoes. Fair enough. Fair enough space. Uh, I don't know. WWE has to release people every so often. He's up to a 289 average. Hell yeah, let's see. And you see Wyatt Langford? He's cooled way off. They may be sending his ass back down to AAA. He can't hit the ball again. They might have promoted him too fast. Um. Well, I don't really lift weights. I'm not supposed to. Because I've got a terrible back. But I, I would say, um, walking-wise, several miles a day probably. Um, I'm a pretty strong guy. But not, not a lot. But I just walk a lot. Um, go on long walks with the purpose of walking. Uh, yeah, they call it. Yeah, he he's pressing bad. Yeah, I'm fucking jacked. Do the shit, dude. And that's a leadoff double again. No, no, I'm not gonna watch the draft. I don't like to. I'm not. I don't want to go to something like that. White Sox getting relegated. <laughs>
Anyway, runner at second now after a leadoff double. And here's the top of the order. Probably the worst spot you want to have a guy at second with no outs. Here's Julian now. Strike one. No, I'm going to Western now. Or I will be. Damn, Riley's lucky he's fast and that didn't turn into a triple. Uh, 0-1 though. Got to strand this one because we can't really be giving up too many more runs. Uh, let's see if we keep him over at third. Hopefully this is a ground out or a pop out. No, I missed the game. Ah, they get the runner to third. Son of a bitch. So that'll be a uh, runner at third now with one away. They'll probably score this run, so most likely 2 nothing coming quick. Uh, either third or fourth. I think uh, traditionally you put your power hitter at four, um, but you put your best hitter at three. And how you live? It's 70 degrees. Damn. Hell yeah, Laura. That's good weather. So it'll be a runner at third. One away. Ball one to uh, Jeffers. They might. They're probably looking at defensive backs because of the uh, Cam Sutton situation. That's probably where they're leaning on, I would imagine. Swing and strike. Chased it out of the zone. That's uh, one and one. If they can't get him to pop out again in foul territory. Tried to backpick his ass. Swing and strike. 0-2 or 1-2. and two. Jake Rogers is determined to backpick somebody. He's like, I'm going to fucking get someone. There's also that Darius Robinson guy from Mizzou. Yeah, there's a ton of options. Um, they could They could be in the Kool-Aid McKinstry talks. Even though I don't, I'm not too sure about him. Uh, I'm probably going to have to get rid of the CMU flag when I go to Western. Those two, they're rival schools. Their space. Fouled away again. Count will remain one and two. Excuse me. By the way, if you haven't dropped a like yet, consider helping out. I'd appreciate you. Gets more people in, makes your stream do better, yada yada, blah blah blah. Well, that sucks. Hopefully it's an out at least. Looks like another sack fly. Hopefully it's not a base hit. Well, that'll be the second run they score on a sacrifice play. Is it? I'm sure there's other colleges that have that space. Yeah, I'm going to be moving. And they get the final out on a quick pitch, so unable to prevent the run from scoring. So back-to-back -back leadoff doubles have kind of screwed the Tigers here in the last two innings. Um, we'll head to the top of the fourth. 2 nothing Twins lead. Let's see if the Tigers can get some runs back here. Uh, with the top of their order, it'll be Green, Perez, and Torkelson. Green, Perez, Torkelson, top of the fourth, two nothing twins. How many pitches has Olsen thrown? Uh, I'll check in a second. Let me see. Olsen's at uh, 55, so quite a few. I don't believe the Lions will trade up. No, I don't think so. Most likely the Lions could trade out of the first. Central Florida, Central Michigan. Terry Cruz. Yeah, I know that. Yeah, that's a lot through three. Especially since O'Bear has only thrown 27. <laughs> We're going to have to get to Bailey a little bit here uh, and actually, like, you know, get some damage done. This, are you sure this is the Twins, Henry? <laughs> 
He's like, damn, we're almost at our quota. <laughs> if the Oros don't lose last night, the record would be 13-6, but they lose 12-7. and Yeah, that, that happens, Lord. First time here. Phillies are your team. Really enjoy watching the Tigers. Hell yeah, sports. Uh, sports AI betting. How you doing, man? Thanks for stopping in. You know, it's funny, Rob. Your stream is slightly ahead of mine. I'm watching through cable too. Now I understand why you get mad at people for spoiling. Yeah, it's a little, it's a little odd, isn't it? And he's just like, I can't believe my team is scoring like this this early. That could also be bad though, because you could completely like pause off and fall for the rest of the game. I always am apprehensive on early game success. Maybe because if my team scores early, they just don't score for the rest of the game. If the Tigers put up any kind of runs in the first three innings, oh boy, we're not. That's probably it. I appreciate it, man. Thanks for the kind words. I heard O'Bear as Goddard. Oh, as Gobert. Oh, I got you. Greatest defenseman ever. Shut the whole country down. 0-2. Oh, Ball one for Riley. He's now behind one and two, but, you know, gets another pitch. Twins will be down like six to three in the eighth, then lose six three. So it doesn't, it feels a little bit better. I feel you. Yeah, he's been very selective at the plate this year. Um, or there's times where he's swinging at everything and strikes out on four pitches. It's very interesting. Two two. Come on, somebody. Tigers, you need a hit. Top four, Tigers are without a hit. So we got a no-hitter going on. See, you know how I hate that you can't really jinx the other team from throwing a no-hitter? What's up, Yuki? And Riley Green gets out. Tigers have yet to do anything at the plate. This is technically a perfect game right now. Anyway, here's when CO Perez, or Perez. Watch, I'm watching a perfect game. I'd be like, son of a bitch, we got perfect gamed. We got to send Colt Keith to the minors. This guy is terrible. 0 oh, 1. On April 11th, Royals hosted the Astros, and after and one, Royals were leading 9 0, ending in. Yep. Oh, yeah, I remember that. Beat the hell out of him. 0 oh, 2. Those are also the games that are the easiest to blow when you score like six plus runs in the first couple innings. Phillies Braves. Yeah, Andy Abanez has been out. Um, I think he's on the IL for a little longer. Should be back soon. 0 uh, oh, 2. By the way, another pitch. So the count will remain 0 oh, 2. We'll get another pitch. One out. Tiger still without anything on offense. Um. What was my preseason prediction? I think it was Braves. No, I think I said Dodgers. Um, over Houston. Phillies can't play the Braves, though, I don't think. Yeah, I just noticed that. 0-2. Oh, if I had to change it, I would probably go with the Braves and Yankees. Braves and Rangers. I got you. I got you. A lot of foul balls. We'll do another 0-2 count. Come on, Perez. And he strikes out. Two away. Fuck. Happy 420, Yuki. Uh, they played. Uh, I already read that. Rob, finally, the Orioles and Royals have a new home plate umpire. Ryan Blanky. I don't like last night's home plate. Yeah, it's only, you know. Hopefully this guy's better for you. That'd be your NLCS. Nice. Kind of a repeat. White Sox, Rockies. Big if true. Here's Torkelson. He gets a swing and strike one. Come on, Torque, do something. We got to get this team moving. Uh, and he gets out. Well, that'll be the third out of the inning. Tigers, perfect game through four. 
We'll see what the Twins do. Trying to add to their 2-0 lead here in the bottom of the fourth. It'll be Larnack. Uh, oh, shit, what the fuck? Uh, Larnack, Buxton, and Miranda do up. Why is that still playing? Anyway, Larnack, uh, Buxton, and Miranda here in the bottom of the fourth. 2-0 Twins. Four twenty. It's a fun holiday. Face just realized it. He's like, "Oh shit, I'm gonna be fucking annoyed." <laughs> anyway, four, five, and six. Let's see if we can get out of this without any runs. They've put up one each uh, in the last inning, so hopefully, no leadoff double, so we give up a bunch of runs. Uh, that would be pretty cool. Fucking Castro had an RBI. Ugh. Is that just the word you copy and paste? Or do you write it out every time? Rob the Horrors play the Tigers in the second half of the regular season. Yeah. It'll be a while before we uh, have to beat up on your team lore. Don't worry. Before we exposed um, Broadson Holiday. Yeah, and it's not also a holiday. It'd be pretty cool if they made it a holiday somewhere. <laughs> I'd be like, damn, that's funny. <laughs> if fucking Colorado just goes, and it is now a holiday. <laughs> oh, and one. Everybody gets off work except the weed people. They got to go to work. Run the dispensaries. Oh, and one. <laughs> Ball one to Larnack. You know there's a second weed holiday? 420s for the normies. Oh, cool. Another leadoff base hit. God damn it. That's three innings in a row. Uh, all right. Well, here's Buxton now with the runner on. I think every leadoff hitter's gotten on today. Julian got on in the first with a walk. Um, and then two doubles in a row in the second and third. And then uh, now we have a leadoff single. the fuck is a deke wait what well i don't even know what a deke is oh cool another hit well this is the unraveling it looks like this is where we lose nice javier Baez with a sweet error Hell yeah, Chris. I'm glad you had a good time. Tigers are letting you guys just smack them up. Zero zero still top nine. Sheesh. Hey, five one's a good score. All right, well, let's see if we can get out of this without any runs. I kind of doubt it. 0-1. Ball one. You guys are backing up the perfect game you're throwing right now. I don't think a lot of people are a Lions fan, but we'll see how that plays. Top of the fifth, most likely they will. Tigers are not a first half of the game team. Uh, he didn't because the way they score errors now, but. Should have been one. Even met, uh, Brett Phillips and Corey Abbott. That's pretty cool. Oh yeah, Chris. Are they, um, young players? 
Hey, look, they got an out. Holy shit, the Tigers turn two. Yeah, I'm not sure who those people are either. Ladies and gentlemen, I believe the Tigers turn two. Breaking news. What a play by Bias, too. He fielded it and then flipped it over to his glove to Keith, and then Keith flipped it back over, and he got the out. We actually just turned two. This could be crazy. Strike one here to Castro. If we can get him to pop out again or fly out. They might have just saved reason. Javi just saved runs, dude. <laughs> That's a DRS for Javi. Only fucking thing he does on this team. He's hitting a home run today, isn't he then? 69 chances, zero errors, of course. Twins have the most double plays. Yeah, Tigers hit into a lot of them too. I feel your pain on that, Henry. Trust me. Orioles and Diamondbacks play the play the what? Going to the Phillies game tonight. Oh, shit. Who are you guys playing? That's a top 10 play. Yeah, that's a really good one. Javi? Yeah, he's a big boy. Uh, 0 and 2. He's a dad, though. All right, man. You have a good night, Chris. You have a good time for... Uh, you have a good night at prom, man. And they... Uh, what happened here? Did they walk him? Oh, it hit him. All right, I guess Willie got hit by the pitch. Here's Camargo. White Sox? Oh, well, that'll be... That won't be much. That, that didn't hit him, did it? Uh, that fucking didn't hit him. Are they going to challenge? No, they can't. I don't think they can. Hey, there we go. We we tight roped out of that shit somehow. It was first and second. Nobody out. Double play. And they fucking, I guess, somehow I kind of brushed Willie Castro with the air. Um, ball don't lie. And when we ground it out, Hobby flips it over to Colt Keith. And then we'll head to the top of the fifth. It did, dude, no, from, with the naked eye, it does look like he got hit. The Tigers didn't even challenge it, so... Um, clearly it might have, it might have like slipped over his foot barely or something, but he just got a 22 pack of baseball cards from his sister and got Jeremy Payne, your rookie card. Holy shit. Tr hell yeah, Toda. That's a good pull. I was never into dances for school. Just wasn't, I didn't either. I went to the parties afterward. It was a f more fun for me on that. Uh, the Orioles and Diamondbacks play after the NFL released the schedule. Nice. Hell yeah, Laura. Met Chicago. Oh, <laughs> space is just doing fun names. Drug names on 420. You make sense. We got out of the inning. Yeah, that ball don't lie. No, Henry's like, hell yeah, stranding all those runs. This is the twins. Yep, uh, it'll be Carpenter, Veerling, and Keith here in the top of the fifth. White Sox bullpen last six games, 144 ERA, last 13, 282. Tigers have the best bullpen in baseball all season through 20 games. We have a 167 ERA, a one whip, and I think they're like nine and two. Dude, we're fucking monsters. <laughs> the next closest team is the uh, Guardians, who have a 227 team ERA. And then the next closest team after that is the Yankees at 267. The Tigers are absolutely ridiculous pitching wise right now. Yeah, I've been this, I, yeah, I smoke all the time. I have a weed card and shit. I got one of those. Um, I have problems, though. I got like a bad back and all sorts of issues that uh, where it actually kind of helps. Ball one to carry Carpenter. Plus, you know, the fucking... Anyway, strike one. Probably shouldn't have been called a strike. Oh, and, or one and two. Will somebody get a big hit? We could use it. We're, we, uh, we're being perfect gamed at this point. 
We got one strikeout. So it's not like we're we're just not the ball's just not going anywhere. It's just not falling. Two and two. Obear won't get this lucky for long. Like, goddamn, he's at 44 pitches right now. He's literally on a perfect game trajectory. This is terrifying. The fact that it's like fucking 40 degrees doesn't help out either. And damn it, Carpenter struck out. One away, here's Veerling. I'm Lions fan, if I'm ahead of you on a stream, one of the best ways you can do it is, um, hell yeah, there we go. Fucking Matt Veerling comes through and breaks up the perfect game. Jesus Christ, I was nervous for a minute. All right, now we just need a run, and we don't have to worry about the shutout either. Base hit. Nice single by uh, Veerling. There we go. I knew this was going to. Fucking can't get no hit. No, no, if if um if I'm spoiling anything for you, the best way to do it is to pause it for like like count in your head after like I say something and for when it happens for you, then pause the stream, count that out again, press play and we'll be in the exact same spot. Yeah, some hits finally. At least a hit there, Keith. Ah, damn. All right, here's oh, Colt Keith is up. One and one. I got no faith in this guy. Yeah, you can pause the stream and then press play when you're ready. And then, yeah, that way we're timed up a little better. It's not as real-time responsive, but if you don't mind that, it's not a big deal. Especially if it's only a few seconds. Ooh, 2-1 now on Colt Keith. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see, Keith. All right, we're 2-1 now. Things are looking a little better. Baltimore Heroines, Oakland Adderalls. And he fouls that pitch away, a pitch right down the middle. It's 2-2. Two and two. Doesn't feel like there's any of the super young rookie class performing extremely well yet. Even Wyatt Langford's struggling now. Jackson Holiday can't hit. Again, uh, Colt Key struck out. Two away. Seems like none of these rookies are hitting well right now. And again, I think that's a pro like part of the problem from down in AAA for the last couple years, how there's no pitching in AAA. All right, here's Javi Bias. Oh, shit. Well, this is home runner out. There's he's not going to hit a single here. This is this is I don't. It's one or the other. I feel like he's going deep pops. Actually, it's cold. I have no idea. He may not have any pop because it's fucking forty degrees. All right, Javi, we need to tie this game up. Can you give us a little bit of a blast? Swing and strike one. He swears. Well, good pitch to swing at. 0-1. Oh Can't be too mad at an inside cutter or an outside cutter to swing. Oh, that fish clock must have been at nearly zero. And then he swings a foot off the plate. 0-2. Oh What's up, Nolan? They're giving Holiday a night off. Yeah, he could probably use it. 0-2, oh, runner at first, two away. 2 nothing. Twins lead here in the top of the fifth. Yeah, pretty much, Yuki. It's the first time in their lives they're probably struggling. Even in AAA, they'll start, in AA, they'll start hitting like three, 400, and they're like, I'm fucking killing it. And then they'll come up to the majors, and for the first time in their life, they're the person striking out three times in a game when they used to laugh at kids who had that problem. 100%. Uh, Yuki, yeah, there's a thing. Um, me and my dad call it the, the struggle effect. It's, it's kids who, it's a lot of the young cats that take a while. They just never were bad ever. They've never struggled at this game ever in their lives, probably. 
They hit like 500 plus in college and high school. By the way, I like Michigan State over Michigan, um, but I, you know, I didn't go to either school. So once they regain that and like learn that it's okay to hit fucking 280, <laughs> and it's nothing to worry about. Um, the, mo a lot of them recover from it. Damn, Michigan won. And Javi swings at a pitch about a foot off the plate. Classic Javi. Like I said, he's either striking out or hitting a home run. I called that shit. I may have even said it's going to be a bad strikeout. I don't remember. I don't remember how much I said a second ago. Uh, Martin, Julian, and Jeffers, 9-1-2 and two again for the Twins. Do you see why some teams put good hitters at the 9-hole? You, how many times have you seen an inning start with the nine guy? This is like the third time today. The second time for the Twins and the Tigers did it once. No, they haven't. This is, uh, I think next inning they'll go eight, nine. But do you see why that some teams will put pretty solid hitters toward the bottom of the lineup? This is not very uncommon to go nine, one, and two in an inning. Um, the Tigers do it like three times a game sometimes. So. There's a, there is some logic to it. So, got to be careful with Martin. 9 1 2. Martin, Julian, and Jeffers here in the bottom of the fifth. 2 0 Twins lead. Hopefully, we can have an easy going inning. We could use a quick one. Otherwise, we'll see Joey Wentz probably in this game. Your Buckeye guy. Fair. I just don't really have a dog in the Michigan Michigan State fight. Who's this? Damn message. Ohio uh, State graduate. Oh, you graduated from there? Fair enough. Yeah, that would make sense why you like there. I went to Central Michigan, so I didn't really go to a big school. Kind of a big school. Yeah, medium uh, college, I guess. Reese Olsen, he's pretty good. He's just very young and throws to co and pitches to contact. Um, so he's not going to dazzle you with a bunch of strikeouts usually. But he's doing his thing. He's pitching really well. He's only giving up four hits and two runs. We should be winning, but we can't hit the ball. <laughs> you know, um, if he pitches well this inning and then good again next inning, he, he it's a quality start. It's he's pitching extremely well. He's a little wild today. He's he's throwing a lot of balls, but. I'm not a college football guy, to be honest. I just, I had never got into it. Three and two. Nice job by Reese. Hopefully we can get it out here. I compare Michigan versus Ohio State and Texas for OU, then Michigan versus Michigan State to Oklahoma. Yeah, that's probably a good way to look at it. Michigan and, and Ohio State has a weird uh, connotation because we also fought a war against each other. So, like, there's, like, remnants of that in the rivalry going on and, you know. Hey, another leadoff hit for the Twins. Hell yeah, dude. Every inning. Pretty much, Tom. Oh, Jesus Christ. And it was an error, too, so it should have been an out. And no one was at second where they should have definitely gotten the out. Ball one to Julian. Just terrible defense. Well, this is why the Tigers have been fucking losing games. They can't play defense. 
That should have been an easy play. Fucking Javi threw I don't know who they even give an error to on that. Probably the throw by Javi, right? That was dog shit. One and one. Nice error gets the runner down to second. So uh it'll be Oh, they gave him a hit on the on that and an error on the uh play down to second. Wow. One and two. Yeah, the play was awful. Uh fucking awful scoop job by Torque, awful fucking throw by Javi. Ugh. I hope you're right, Sports AI, but they gotta they gotta wake up a little bit. Two two. The third inning in this game where we started with a runner at um fifth or at second with no out. Um, Western, I guess. I don't know. Southwestern. We'll count again. Hey, they get a strike out of Julian. There we go. Good job by uh, Olsen to battle there. Wait, I don't think that's right. Oh, it was right. Okay, one away. Called strike one. Or swing and strike one. It's like a southern western state, Oklahoma. Kind of. Almost Midwest. Ball one way off the plate. He could use it, Tom. He definitely could use it. One zero top ten. Damn, Phil, your guys' game is late. Game fucking flew by. One two. Who's the away team in your game? The Rays. Two and two. Sucks playing um, in extra innings as the uh, home team because you almost home teams usually lose in extra innings. I'm not sure why that is. It's just like the design of extra innings favors the away team. Another full count. Jesus, man. Olsen just does not have good control today. Okay, State versus Texas Tech. Yeah, they both kind of gotten good recently or more prominent, so them developing a rivalry kind of makes sense. And they walked him. Hell yeah. Two on, one out for Kirilov. Let's see if we can get out with the double play. Damn, I almost I kind of feel bad for Olsen. He just really is all over the place today. I mean, he's only given up two actual walks, but the amount of balls he's thrown is um, tremendous. Clearly struggling for some reason. Hopefully we can get Kirilov to double into something. It's not a base, just a fucking play. Great buy out of this inning with skin on our teeth. Or by the skin of our teeth, right? I think either works for that. Kind of. In like a weird roundabout way. That's what is happening to the Yankees. Top of the 10th. Tampa just got to run. Yeah, it's just weird. Diamondbacks played Cubs. Went to extras. D-backs as a home team won 12 to 11 and 10. Yeah, I mean, obviously you're going to see home teams win. It's just, uh, um, I think on average, away teams win more in extras. Damn, they scored. Well, that might be ball game. Oh, I think they got out. They just gave up another double. Oh, a fucking error by Torque. Jesus Christ, dude. This defense has been fucking atrocious. 
At first and third, one away. That should have been a double play, but we keep committing errors. What happened? Did they just stop being able to play defense? Jesus Christ. Uh, ball one. It's two runs on errors now. Well, one run on errors. The second run on errors is about to come in. Clark's been super sure-handed at first two throughout his career. What the fuck's he doing lately? I hope it's because it's cold. One and two. Hundred percent, Tom. One and two. And Larnack follows that pitch away. Counter remain one, two. Three oh twins lead here in the bottom of the fifth. A couple of errors have helped them get some runs across. The inning probably should be over by now. Come on, get it out. Foul the way again. It's one and two. We'll see another pitch. Mm. You know, the Tigers just don't look like they're able to play at all today. But again, they, they seem to spurt to life late in games, but I don't know. They look kind of um, dead at the wheel this afternoon. Maybe they punch it up. And another foul ball. We'll get another uh, one two offering for Larnack. Wentz is warming up like I kind of figured he'd come in. You got it back? Nice, Lore. Well, that's good. Sorry that was happening for you, though. Uh, that pitch is fouled away. We'll get another one, too. Eighth pitch of the at-bat. Thirty to thirty-five happened. Yeah, that's pretty one of the biggest problems. Most likely is this is the weather. For a team that plays in the north for as long as I can remember, they suck in the cold. Oh. Which is why our home record always sucks at fucking at first. Yeah, they're definitely not a cold weather team. That's 100%. A lot of the guys on this team are from California or South America and shit. And they're just like, what the hell is this? Green. Oh, cool. Hopefully this isn't out somehow. Probably not. The team can't make outs. They're allergic to them. Oh, they get a sack fly. Cool. Anyway, make it 4 nothing now. Twins take the lead. They have a runner at first with two away for Buxton. That's two down for Brian Buxton. Nobody, or yeah, with a runner on, and Buxton gets out, so the inning ends, but the damage has been done. 4-4, four, four, or 4-0. Four, well, I don't know. I, I don't know about four runs, folks. That'd be quite the comeback. Uh, Meadows, Rogers, and Green do up. Eight, nine, and one for the Tigers. Maybe they can get some runs going, but uh, I don't know. Four nothing twins, top of the sixth. Yeesh. This has not been our game, eh? Hey, if you haven't dropped a like yet, consider doing so. Help stream out, get some more people in here.
certainly feels like they're not. <laughs> but it's a, that's always a funny thing to say for a team that plays in the cold. <laughs> like, just like, well, we're not good in the cold. What happens in April? We lose a lot. Even at home? Oh, yeah. We lose a lot at home in April. It's like, we may be one of the worst home April teams. All right, fucking just too cold. Anyway, we'll see. Uh, we'll see Meadows, Rogers, and uh, Green do it. Maybe we can get some some runs here. Probably need them here in the sixth. Otherwise, we're on the road to get shut out by O'Bear. Hopefully the weather there is a little nicer tomorrow. Everyone's not freezing to death. Fucking shivering while they're trying to play baseball. Like, brr. <laughs> All right, whenever the commercials end, that'll be cool. Nobody wants to look at this fucking baby crying anymore. Anyway, strike one to um, Parker Meadows. All right, home run time for Meadows. Come on, let's see it. Big time. <sighs> Damn, it's kind of cool that we got most of our games with Minnesota for the year out of the way already. Well, how many times do we play our division each? What is it, like 15 games each? 16 games? Or at like fucking seven of them? One and two on Parker Meadows now. Or one and one, sorry. Oh, no, he struck out. It was one and two. And down goes Meadows, one away. Own one here on Jake Rogers. Uh oh, oh, this doesn't have a great feeling to it. The offense just can't get going. And we usually beat up on O'Bear, so this is kind of, this sucks to see. Just play at Ford Field. Should have a dome on Comerica is the real thing. There used to be plans that the um, Ford Field and Comerica Park would be kind of built together, uh, but I think all that fell through. Well, obviously it fell through. They built them, you know, as separate buildings, but I think at one point they were going to, like, combine them. Close to having a dome for the Tigers. Very, very close. Two and two. Would have gave Ford Field a retractable roof. Uh, down goes Jake Rogers. Two down now in the top of the six. We go to the top of the Tigers order. Here's Riley Green, who's 0 for 2. Well, at least we're not getting perfect gamed anymore, right? <laughs> Imagine not perfect gaming. Embarrassing way to go out. Game over. I'm sorry, Phil. Hey, we're I'm in a similar spot, so this must be a uh, bad teams win Saturday. I'm just playing. <laughs> uh, two and one. I need to get some circulation in my body. Moving. I was sitting too still. Two and two. Two out for the Tigers. Ball three to Riley. Damn, people are dipping out pretty quick. Ball 
Ball four. Hell yeah, there we go. Second base runner of the day for the Tigers. They at least have a man on now. One on. Two out. Here's Perez. Maybe he hits his first uh, homer if he hasn't done that yet. Ties the game. Or, well, puts us within two. I forget the Twins aren't, aren't out here committing like 400 errors. Uh, so... You know, we're not that close to scoring yet. And Perez fouls it away, 0-1. Trying to stretch out a bit, dude. I'm fucking scoring tight and shit. 0-1 oh. for Perez. 0-2. Ball one. You spent your, some time uh, in Ypsilanti in November. It was unseasonably warm. From a, it was a warm winter this year in Michigan. Two and two. Like, you know, subjective warm, but like for what Michigan usually is, it never really got to that this year. It was very uh, moderate winter. Anyway, 2-2 two, two count with two, uh, two out and one on. Perez is the hitter. And it's ball three. See if we can get a big walk or a hit here. Oh, shit, in play runs. Did Perez hit the home run? Did we call it? Remember, we did say before this at-bat, Perez was hitting a home run. Did the Perez bomb happen finally? Nope, just a fucking RBI triple. Let's go. All right, RBI triple. Now, Torkelson, uh, your dumbass needs to hit a home run. All right, so we have a triple now, and we have a runner at third with two outs and a run scored, so now it's four to one. All right, here we go. Hopefully, Torkelson can do something here, especially after these errors. This, this dude needs a big-time play. He can make this a one-run game if he fucking connects correctly. He's also supposed to be the guy who makes it a one-run game. Are they pulling fucking old bear? No, it looks like they're just talking to him. Oh, and one uh, change up right down the middle, a little low. I have to take a piss in a second. Hey, Prez has back-to-back -back games with a triple. That's pretty good. Ball in the dirt, one and one. Four one twins lead. Tigers get a uh, Tigers at least get a run back this last half inning, which is good to see. Um if, if they can get another, that'd be pretty sweet to half the lead at least. Uh Let's see, runner at third, two away, torque up to bat, 1-1. One, one. Ah, God damn it, dude, he flies out. Well, thanks for doing nothing there, torque. Committing errors, giving up the runs, good shit, dude. Uh, 
Harder and harder to defend that guy. Really a terrible start to the year for him. Anyway, four to one, top of the or bottom of the six coming up. Four one, bottom six. Miranda, Castro, and Camargo. Six, seven, and eight here in the bottom of the six. Four one. Twins lead. Quick commercial break. As usual. I'll be right back, guys. Who's that? All right, I'm back. Oh. Damn, everyone's pretty quiet now. Not one person said anything about anything that just happened. Anyway, bottom of the six. Uh, six, seven, and eight do up. It's Miranda, Castro, and Camargo. I wonder if Olsen's still pitching and they make a change. No, Wentz is in now. Tigers going with the lefty Wentz. Switch things up from Reese Olsen a little bit. See how Wentz does. Bottom six, underway. Hopefully we have a finally can get a one, two, three inning here. We've been getting smacked around the last uh other than really the fifth or the fourth inning, and even then it was a double play that prevented any damage. Oh and one. They've gotten the leadoff man to the on base every inning of this game. So a decent start from Olsen, just not perfect. A lot to work on from there. He was super inaccurate today. But then again, his defense failed him twice, so it would be more like a two to one situation. Hey, look at that. They got they got the finally got the leadoff man out. They get Miranda to start the inning. So one away. All right. Good much better start to this inning. Here's uh Castro with one away. Wentz has been pretty good this year. One one seven ERA. Pretty solid numbers. Castro's up now and he gets called strike one. Take strike one, however you want to say that. It'll be called ball one. One one. Da -na 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 -na. Are people talking in my chat froze? No one said anything for a while. One and two. Yeah, we're at 22 likes. I appreciate that. Oh, one, two count though. Two and two now though. Ball misses low. It's a bit low. Almost touching the plate low. And run the count full. Damn, dude, we just really can't throw strikes today. Been a big problem for the pitchers. Though, debatably, that second pitch probably shouldn't have been a ball or a strike, but I guess we're not getting the close call. One away here in the bottom of the six, four one. Oh damn, that was a 
They threw that shit like right down the middle. I have to see where that pitch actually was, but that's called strike three. That's two away. Castro goes down. What happened? Castro, what ha what happened? I'm just always curious as to see why someone took a pitch like right down the middle. Oh, it just buckled his ass. Woof. All right, that's why he... Dude, he literally... Have you guys ever heard the term getting buckled by a breaking ball? Willie Castro was sitting on something completely different, and he threw that shit... And Joey Wentz just threw him a breaking ball right down the middle, and Castro went... Oh, that's worse than what Javi does, whiffing at a pitch at a fucking mile off the plate. I'm telling you, no player wants to do what Willie Castro just did. Oh, goodness gracious, that's embarrassing. Because that'll get you, that's a pitcher's highlight reel pitch, right? I'm telling you, that will be added to Wentz's thing. Because he, this was Willie Castro. He went, or he went like that, dude. He buckled. That front right, that fucking front knee kicked in and he fucking buckled in. Oh, that's absolute filthy from, uh, from Mr. Wentz. So very good, uh, mind game pitching right there. Anyway, it'll be Carpenter, Veerling, and Keith, uh, four, five, and six for the Tigers. Maybe they can get some offense going. He just, yeah, he froze and his knee buckled. Dude, that shit's embarrassing. That's literally. You'd rather just swing at a foot of pitch off the plate, you know, or a, a pitch a foot off the plate. Just, oh, well, I, I thought it was. You can wave that off as like, ah, everybody has a bad one. Oh, that one's the other one's tough. Going like this, oh, and just twitching at it, and then your knee kind of giving out, oh, complete fool. Like, completely had him fooled. Wow, they really pulled O'Bear already. Kind of surprising they pulled him after. Is he hurt? Did anybody heard any, like, rumblings of why they might be pulling Bailey O'Bear? That was fucking six flawless innings. <laughs> His pitch count wasn't that high, was it? Eighty-two? Wow. It did not seem... I mean, I guess I get it because it's the late inning. It's the seventh. You bring in your end of games. I figured he'd at least. Wow. I didn't realize O'Bear had 84 pitches. He's literally, I guess, I guess that sixth inning kind of fucked him up a little bit. Yeah, the it's not getting stuck. It's just when your knees buckle, you look, it's a little embarrassing. Keith to the Benaz and Spencer to the party. I know for a couple weeks. That'll let them re-conceptualize re uh, everything. Yeah, that might even be more embarrassing than um than getting your knee buckled, Phil. One and one. Okurt is in now for the... Uh, The uh, twins and Carrie Carpenter's up against the lefty, so this at bat's probably not ending well. Two one. Walk would be cool. Oh no, it's two two. Fouls it away. Top of the seventh. Four to one. Twins lead. Carry takes time. Even count. Two two. Like, I get that full count is 3-2, but technically, wouldn't an even count be 3-2? Because then it's like the next pitch could be a, deci a de decisive factor either way. When it's 2-2, I still feel like the pitcher's ahead. You know what I mean? Like, you, you have one more pitch to work with than they do. Two, uh, full count, though, for a Kerry Carpenter.
And Carpenter gets out, one away. Here's Veerling. Yeah, this ain't this ain't looking so hot. Gonna need some runs. Here's Matt Veerling. Maybe he can get us started. And then Keith gets on, then by his bomb, we it's tied up, and then Meadows hits a home run, then we take the lead. That's how it's going to go down. Ball one. I believe. Do you guys believe? In play runs. Holy shit, did he hit a home run? Yeah, he did hit a home run. All right, Matt Veerling bomb. The V bomb. Fuck yeah. All right, it's four to two. We're coming back in this one. Wait, what the fuck? Why did it say in play runs? This is the base hit. I don't know why it said in play runs. You guys seen that, right? I'm not crazy. All right, Matt Veerling gets on with a single. I. Why the hell did that thing say in play runs? Thought it was about to be a big ass big fly. All right, well here comes uh oh Buddy Kennedy's gonna pinch it here for uh Colt Keith. Thank God. All right, let's see what Buddy Kennedy can do. He's hitting pretty good in the minors. He's very fast, so could be a bunt situation here, especially since Veerling can run rather well. If Buddy uh, can bunt, that'd be we'll we'll see. All right. Ball one to Kennedy. When you're fast. You should be able to punt. I don't know. That'll be a called strike. Way high and off the plate. What's up, Wade? Your uh, your boy's in. Buddy Kennedy. He's hitting for Colt Keith right now. It's your guy. And he fouls the pitch away. It's a one and two. Would be nice to see a big hit. And he fouls another pitch away. We'll see another one two offering to Kennedy. He's the same height as you. How tall is that? Looks like he's just about average height. What, like 5'7", five, 5'8"? Five, 5'9"? Five, nice. About my height. I'm going to say he looks about normal size, so... Following a bunch of pitches off. Maybe it's a good sign. Maybe he's got a hit coming. Be pretty cool to see. Hey, ball two. Two and two now. Follow the way, it'll be 2-2 two, two again. Two and two. Three and two, hey, way to battle here by Kennedy. Pesky at bat here. Hard fought little battle. Hopefully he gets rewarded with a big hit. And there we go. He walks two on. There we go. Way to battle. Way to battle. Two on now for Javi Baez. He could tie it up. And I hope he does.
We could use the big hobby moment. Be a mound visit. They may be going to get a pitcher. They may not want to have... Yeah, I was going to say they're going to go get a righty for hobby. They don't want to serve up a lefty for hobby Baez. Sands will replace Okert. And we'll see if Baez still bats. Most likely he will. Two on, one out here in the top of the seventh. Uh, here comes Baez. Yeah, two pretty fast dudes on the bases for the Tigers, so a shot in the gap could get both in. 4-1 Twins lead. Tigers threatening, finally. Doing something. Ooh, on. Oh, man. Excuse me. So Cole Sands is in the game. Baez is probably going to bat. Don't have a ton of middle infielders left, so. One on, two out, 4 1, Twins lead. Tying run at the plate. Yankees lost. Yeah, hopefully it's a home run. And we get the start of uh, the Javier on the Tigers, finally. He just turns into a menace. So far, my prediction for this inning has gone pretty good. I said uh, Veerling would get on. I thought Keith would get on, but he got pinched hit. The guy got on, though. Uh, now I said Baez would homer, so. Let's see if the Baez bomb will happen. Swing and strike one. Fuck. Well, not idea. So and one. Oh, well, fuck, dude. Never mind, Bides is going to strike out on three pitches. He's trying to hit a home run. He's up there power swinging right now. Then he hits the ball. The duality, eh? Then he, yeah, he piss lasers that shit. And it gets by the fucking outfielder, so it gets behind him. That'll get both runs in. It's four to three. Are you fucking. Did that get both in? No, it's second and third. Murphy is at, uh, Buddy is still at third. Buddy Kennedy, not Murphy. Uh, so, hey, that puts the go ahead runner at second. Good job by Bias. Takes advantage, gets a double. Uh, here's Parker Meadows with two on and one away. Just need to lift this ball to make it a one run game. I think the Orioles will lose, uh, tomorrow night because Seth Lugo, maybe, hopefully. And they didn't even get the run in. Awesome. Fucking Meadows sucks. Yeah, literally just send this dude back to triple A. He's so, he's so bad. And here's Jake Rogers. All we need is one base hit. Oh, Mark Canna's going to pinch it. Oh, okay. Maybe this could be something. There's going to be another mob visit. We may see another pitching change. Never know how this at bat's going to go with Mark Canna. Maybe he can pick a big hit. At least get one of these runs in. Anyway, here's Canna now with uh, two on and two out. 
I think Sands is staying in the game. I think they're just trying to devise what they're going to do. It would be big. Could tie the game. For the Tigers, you want to at least pick up one of these runs. Shooting it down the right field line, left field line, whichever one will work here. Ball one up high. When Jackson Holiday was in AAA, he hit home runs. Yeah, he'll probably start hitting at the major league level. He's just a little behind. Strike one. Fuck. Come on, can it? One one now with two on and two out. Yeah, they they're probably down to nothing before it's all pitching changes they got to do. But I mean, it's the almost the end of the game. We're getting toward the end of the game. That'll be a strike on a pitch right down the middle. He just let go. Come on, Mark. Really need a base hit here, dude. Uh, fouls it away, stays alive. It's one and two. Again, we're in the top of the seventh. It's four to two in favor of the Twins. Tigers get another run back here. Uh, they're trying to claw their way back in. They have a good shot, but there's two away. Uh, runners are at second and third. That'll be ball two to Mark Canna. Two two count. Oh, yeah, shotgun. Oh, you're 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 promoting other people's shit here. Bye bye. Ah, they got out. Well, hey, at least they strike a little closer and cut the lead in half. Yeah, that was easy. And so will the channel he's listening to. There's a reason I stopped doing that. He'll find out. Martin, Julian, and Jeffers. 9-1-2 and two in the bottom of the 7th. That's the third time today they've had this arrangement. Well, alright, hey, we're making it a little closer. Now we can maybe pull this off in the 8th and ninth. Have a little comeback, bring Foley out and steal the game. Definitely in play now. We just have to have a very good bottom of the seventh here. Probably bring in what, Miller at this point or Chafin? But we just had a lefty on the bump, so I'm guessing... They might just leave him in. I was going to say, they're just leaving Wentz in there. That's not a bad idea. It's probably the right idea, right? Laura, no one was talking to you. No, not a soul was talking to you, Laura. No offense. Uh, cool, man. Good for you, I guess. <laughs> oh, that's a really random statement for you to make. He's like, I'm the only one here, though. He lives in his own world where everyone else doesn't exist. Do, 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 do. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, but anyway, 9-1-2, and two, Martin, Julian, and Jeffers. Hey, they get a quick out here. Uh, Martin, they finally get Martin out. He had a good day. He was two for two. I believe with a sack fly. No, that was just his third at bat. All right, here's Julian now. 
24 likes. Yeah, I appreciate you guys. Good looking out. Very kind. Very cool. Yeah, the reason you shouldn't play um, the MLB's audio is uh, it's just very annoying to deal with them. That'll be a base hit by Julian, so not idea. See your lefty get a, give up a hit to a lefty. But that'll be a base hit. One on, one out. See if we can maybe get um, a double play. Ball one. No one on the Tigers can play defense on the infield again. This happened last year, if I'm if I'm not mistaken. We were terrible defensively for like two weeks in April. If I remember, if I remember right, this is like the same problem we had last year out of nowhere for about about this time last year too, right? About about toward the end of April, but it got fixed in a couple weeks. Not even a couple. It was like a, a week or two later. They were fine. Uh, didn't really have any defensive problems for the rest of the year either. It's just it seems like this team has weird little um, spells it goes through. I don't know how else to describe it. It's, it's just like it's like this is the exact same problem they were having last year with defense, just sh shitting the bed constantly. Three and one. Come on, once. That's pretty cool. They need, need they need two titles for the women to fight over, and ball four. Cool. Well, that sucks. All right, here's Jeffers now with two on and one out. Looks like the Twins are trying to get their runs back. Oh, Carlos Santana's into hit now. Well, that's great. I'll be back in just a few minutes, or not even a few minutes, probably like two minutes. I'm going to go have a uh, nice little uh, rip of a bogey real fast during uh, the, si the seventh inning real fast. But as Santana's up with two on and one away, they could really use a ground ball right here. They have a catcher and fucking Carlos Santana running. Big base. Ball one. Oh, Santana isn't even finished. Three and two. Ah, full count. <laughs> I'm back. All right. Throw a strike. Come on, you got him right-handed. Jesus Christ. Live, live low. 
Do you think uh, we'll hit over or under the Orioles and uh, Royals game tonight or the over unders that said, oh, for runs? It'll probably be over. And they get Perez to fly out or Santana flies out to Perez. Sorry. So two away. You say from the right side of the play, this guy's not that good of a hitter. It's not the same dude. Here comes Manuel Margot. He can be rather dangerous. So might as well bring in a righty to face him. I'm guessing Shelby Miller, right? That's the guy we have, right? That's the the Shelby the Miller we have. I won't be Lang. He'll be Lang. It's kind of Lang territory. No, not when we're wild today. We shouldn't bring his ass in. Who the hell just came in? I don't know. I'm going to guess Miller, though. I haven't seen him pitch in a while, personally. Alex Lang. Oh, I was right on my second guess. This is the Lang situation. All right. Well, let's pray to God he's got his accuracy today. Ooh. Four ten p.m. Hoping for a Tigers comeback. Excuse me. Far to me. Yeah, Witt Jr. can be. A, he's the best player on their team, probably. Bobby Mid Jr. Going on in the world. Anything cool going on in the world? I don't see shit. All right, nothing going on. Now we wait to see what Alex Lane can do against Margot. Hopefully we get a quick like one pitch, one out situation. Um, we keep it at a four to two game and we have a chance to come back in the eighth and ninth. What's up, Joe? Yeah, your Royals are doing great this year. Great start. The only problem is... Um, most of your team is hitting way above what they usually do, right? I don't know if you're a Royals fan. Um, so there's going to be a crash, similar to the Guardians. They all don't hit like that. Now, unless they figured something out, and they're all going to hit right around 400 all year. But we'll see if it can sustain itself. All right, laying on the mound. One pitch. One out. Fuck yeah, there we go. That's a great job. Just what you want to see a pitcher coming in and do. Throw a pitch, get a quick out, and now we head to the top of the eighth. All right, this is where we got to come back. It's the top of the order, too. It's Green, Perez, and Torkelson. So if there's any shot at coming back, it's right now. There won't be a more opportune time for a lineup to pop back into a game. We need Mr. Error to kind of come through and get some hits. Maybe hit the tying home run, lead it, go ahead home run, whatever you want to call it. All right, top eight. Tiger's inning is coming up. Appreciate everyone who's tuned in and left some likes and all that. Appreciate you. I swear, whenever I see the Royals, though, it feels like you guys are hitting the cover off the ball. Like, aren't you guys constantly in high scoring, like, close games, though?
Like, I swear, every time I see a Royal score, it's like fucking nine to seven. It's just like, hmm. Like, what'd you guys just play against? What was the score against the Orioles the other night, Lore? What'd you guys, what was the score in that game? Like, you, you blew out the Astros for an entire series. That was crazy. Uh, Funderbunk, or Funderburk is in the game. I've never heard of this guy. Cody Funderburk is in the game. Yeah, I think the Tigers have two or three also. At least two for Detroit. 1-1 one, one here on Riley Green. I got a lefty in. So this could be a little bit of a challenge for us. 9-4. to four. That's what I mean. The Royals always score a ton of runs. Also, didn't you play the White Sox? Kind of like us. It's like it's like some of our shutouts. I think both of them are against the White Sox. I don't know if those really count as shutouts. And the count's full. 3-2. For Riley Green. We could use him getting on. You've already done a few series with them. Yeah, that's probably part of the reason you guys are doing so well. Haven't you played them seven times, eight times? How many times have you shut those guys out? Two, maybe three times. And that'll be ball four. All right, way to start off the inning. Riley Green, here comes Wencio Perez. Nice to see him if he could uh, get another big hit here. He's already got a triple in this game that kind of broke this thing. Uh, in, he started the thing off, really. Had an RBI triple, so. Let's see what Perez can do. Shows bunt, ball one. Pitch gets away. That'll get Riley Green up to second. Wild pitch. Ball one. And now we have a runner in score. The, you know. Third run of the game for the Tigers standing at second. Just need a hit now. And that'll be a strike one at the top. He swung at a high pitch. Fouls another one away. It's one and two. Fuck. Essentially, he did get the runner up, so that's good. But we could really use a, him over to third now. Fucking ground ball on the right side of the infield. We're good. Ah, damn it. Perez strikes out two away. Or one away. Here's Torque. All right, dude. Time to tie the game. Time for that first home run to come. But I think the wind is blowing shittily, so I don't think he's, he's going to be able to today. I think it's blowing in. Nothing's really gotten a good ride in this game, so I'm guessing it's just the home runs aren't coming in this, uh, this one. Ball one to Torque. They may just walk him here. Ball two. Yeah, they're going to pitch around him because, again, Carey struggles with lefties, and then, uh, you know, you take your chances on Veerling. Ball three. Are you just bringing your lefty or your righty for Veerling? Three and oh. They call that ball strike one. Well, they gave him a strike on that pitch. Three one count. It was pretty close. Ah, uh, fouls that one away. Full count. Well, hopefully he gets something he can handle. One away, runner at second. 
Count as four. And he gets the runner over to third, two away. Useless, dude. He should be doing so much more than that. All right, here's Kerry Carpenter. This looks like we're stranding this run. Doris play the White Sox on uh, May 23rd through the 25th. That's a nice little game series. And those will be easy games for you guys. Strike one to Carpenter. Not idea. Ball one up high. Really need a big hit. Two and one. Carrie's been their big hit guy, so. Ooh, good block by the catcher. That could have scored a run. Two and two. Fouls it away. Well, I don't know about a mess. I don't know about a magic comeback tonight, folks. It's starting to look less and less uh, likely. Two two. All three up high. Royals just hitting 241. Not bad for a team average. What's the team OPS, if you know? Count is full for Kerry Carpenter. Runners at third, two away. Batting average can weigh, can be weighed funny because there could be like a couple guys having bad years. Hell yeah, there we go. Carey comes through with the base hit. That'll get a run in. Move Carey, uh, the go-ahead run now at first. bit Or the tying run is at first. And here comes Matt Veerling. There we go. Hey, nice job. Nice piece of two-strike hitting. Nice piece of two-out hitting. Way to drive in the run. And now they're going to make a change. Here's a uh, new pitcher coming in. Two out. And a runner at first here. Carey comes through yet again. Gary Bonds. No, you guys, sh you guys probably can. Don't see why you couldn't. OPS 724. That's a solid team OPS too. See, that's the more impressive thing is the team 724 OPS. That's probably why you guys are winning. All right. Um, who are they bringing in again? Like a crazy name. Um, for Thunder Burke is leaving the game. They're bringing a new guy in. Matt Vreeling will be the hitter. Oh, Bowman. Bowman's coming into pitch. Hopefully we can hit this guy. Vreeling bomb? A V bomb from Vreeling. I don't, I don't know. Ooh. Come on, Matt Veerling. <laughs> Keep the inning alive. Tie this shit up somehow. Maybe even take a lead. We could use it. Or will the lead be happening because we get like a hit by pitch or a walk? Or some shit with Veerling, and then fucking Kennedy hits like a dribbler into second, or you know, into the outfield, and it bloops in. And then we score. That's the Tigers' way to do it. Hopefully, this game's over in an hour. I gotta go to work. <laughs> a little bit of a late shift tonight. Ah. 
Here's Veerling, though. Against Matt Bowman. Looks like he's pitched one time against the uh, Orioles. Three innings, gave up a hit, a run, a walk, struck out two. So, mixed bag. Ball down low. Hopefully, Reeling's ready to go. Get something good to hit. Here's a pitch. Strike one on the outside part of the plate. Reeling looks, looks like he thought it was a little low. That was actually a pretty nice cutter. Splitter, cutter, sinker, sweeper. So three fastballs and a sinker or a sweeper. Pretty standard pitcher. One and two now, though. The Orioles have more home runs. Yeah, the Orioles are a power hitting team, though. You guys probably should have more home runs. You guys are kind of a known power, like powerhouse team. But one, two. Veerling. Hey, flies out. Shit. All right, well, that ends the threat. We get within one, so we'll go to the bottom of the eighth. Twins look to add to their little, uh, to their lead here to try to protect themselves from the ninth inning. One run game, uh, four to three, bottom eight. It'll be Buxton, Farmer, and Castro. So, uh, Buxton, uh, Farmer, and Castro. We'll see if all these people stay in the game or if they get pinched hit for. We'll see. Um, but, We'll see. I'd imagine we'll see the Twins closer next half inning. I don't really know who that is, though. Um, does anybody know who the Twins closer is? Currently? I feel like we played them, but I don't, I don't, I don't remember who, the fu uh, who it is. Yeah, you were just saying that, Laura. You just said that. Cool that you wrote it out, though. I don't know if Lang will stay in the game. We're in the bottom of the eighth. Either Miller or, uh, or Lang, or Chafin or Lang will probably be in pitching. I'm guessing Lang. I don't really see why they'd pull him after a batter. Buxton's a righty, right? Right, right, switch. Okay. Yeah, they're gonna they're probably leave Lang in for a minute. Four three game. Twins holding on to a narrow lead. Tigers have been able to scratch across the run in the sixth, seventh, and eighth. Now they have to hold it here at four to three, so they have a chance to tie in the ninth. Maybe even take a slim lead. They're knocking on the door, trying to get through. Here's Byron Buxton laying back to work. Strike one. Ball one. One one count. Damn, there's some discipline to not swing at that pitch. Here's the one one. Oh, come on. Jesus Christ. Two and one. Now we're getting squeezed. It's been a strike all game. Oh, and they get him out. Okay. Well, ground ball back to the pitcher. Good job by Lang, who fields it himself, flips it to the first baseman. Good play. One away. Why are the Red Sox better than the Pirates? Um, the Pirates have been struggling lately. Apparently, they've lost like four in a row. Strike one to Farmer. Bottom eight here. Four, four three Twins lead to anyone just joining in. Uh, one away. Farmer the hitter now. Laying the pitcher. Uh, 
and 2 on a swing and strike. Castro up next. And Lang finish off Farmer. Pause. No ditty. Oh, they hit him. Son of a bitch. Well, shit. All right, here's Willie Castro with one on and one out. That's all right, Lang. Try and get a double play here. I don't know if we have the infield to pull off a double play with the speed of uh, Castro, though. Maybe just get him to strike out. I hate when people lean into it. 0-1. Oh, Annoying. Uh, oh, and one. If he wouldn't have like did that, he wouldn't have fucking got hit by the pitch there. God damn it, that's a base hit. That'll put the runner over to third. So it's first and third now, one away. Yeah, he's looking good. He's not pitching good, though. Here's Camargo now with one on, and oh, that's a double. So one on, and runners at second and third. Cool. Don't know why they tried to get the guy at third. They should have threw the fucking ball to second. Shit should have never been a fucking double. Another ball getting by Torque, too. Sweet. And then a stupid throw. He takes second. Ugh. 0 oh 2. They can't even really get a double play here now. They need to just get an out. Base hit effectively wins this game for them, most likely. Ooh, ball one. One-two count. Runners are at second and third. There's one away here in the bottom of the eighth. Twins looking to put this game away. Tigers looking to survive the inning and see another day. And they get a big third, second out. Now we'll see Martin, who's two for three. He's had a good day. Could be a problem. Ken Lang get a big out. Ball one high. One out. Fuck yeah, they got it. Woo. What a play in right too. Jesus, when seal Perez. What a grab, dude. He just might have saved the game. Great snag in left right field by Wencio Perez. Sliding little catch. Stretched way out. Fucking got it in his glove. Woo. Way to pitch out of a jam, Lang. Good job. All right, here's our here's our shot. It's Kennedy, Baez, and Meadow. Oh. Well, this won't be easy. What do you guys think our chances of winning in this inning are? Like, pretty high? <laughs> I mean, it's, uh, you know, we got, we got some guys. It's, uh, you know, it's Kennedy, it's Baez, it's Meadows, huh? I see three runs right there. Boom, 6-4. Uh, I'm going to call it. I think all three guys score. Believe it or not. The 
biggest problem here. Griffin Jacks is in the pitch. Oh, yeah, that's who their closer is. Oh, okay, this isn't completely lost then. We can hit off this guy. I don't know if any of the guys we have in the lineup can hit off this guy, but we can hit off this guy. You know what the worst part is? I don't know if we have anyone that can play in this game, though. So I think all of these guys got a bat. Like, I definitely don't know if we have any, um, buddy from Meadows. Man, the torque errors are killing us, those two runs for that inning. The difference maker in this game is that two run, uh, fourth error, or the two run fifth. Errors came. All right, let's see if we can get something going here. Oh, Zach McKinstry's going to hit for Buddy Kennedy. We kind of figured that would happen. Bias sends a text to us. That'd be cool. Or McKinstry does with a tie right now. Tie it. Come on, Big Zach. Do it for the gram. 0 and 1. 0 and 2. Come on, just a base hit, man. And he fouls it away. It's 0-2 again. We'll see another 0-2 for McKinstry. Come on, Zach. Need that in play runs to pop up. Griffin Jacks did. Well, maybe he'll blow it for the Tigers. And the strikeout, the throw to first to complete the out, one away. Here's Baez with one down. All right, we need someone to play the hero now. Someone do it. Come on, Javi. Ball one. Haha, -ha, he didn't swing. All right. Good start to the at bat. Let a pitch way off the plate go. All right. Pitch way inside. One and one. All right. Good takes. Three and oh. Okay. Hey, we just got to get a guy on for something to start. The Meadows bomb is always a re reality. Three and oh. Three one, three two. Ah, oh, fuck. Hobby's, Hobby's up here taking all the way. He's taking on five straight pitches. I don't like the odds of this. Better calls time. Count is full with one away in the ninth. 4-3, Twins holding on to a narrow lead. And Javi just took all six pitches and struck out. Well, that's cool. He just didn't, sw he didn't stream at all. Or swing at all. Two down. Here's Parker Meadows. Ugh, Javi, what are you doing? You got to swing the bat. Oh, maybe Parker has uh, got something in his bag here. Strike one. Seven straight. No swings for the Tigers. All right. Well, that's certainly a decision people can make. Swing. Somebody, somebody swing. It's perfectly allowed. Did Meadows just, uh, he did swing and he gave it a ride. All the, oh, dude, he flew out to the base of the wall. God damn it. 
Well, we deserve to lose this one. GG, Minnesota. You guys win the game. Uh, good game, good game. This killed us, though. Again, the defense is the reason we lost this game. These, these led to this, which led to this over that. Sad to see. Olsen didn't deserve to lose that game. Well, but once again, GG Minnesota. Tigers kind of did it to themselves yet again this afternoon. Poor defense. Kind of inconsistent, uh, non-timely hitting is what doomed them today. They almost came. They had a little bit of a ride there, but ultimately they need to get a little bit better What earlier in the games. Maybe take advantage of their, uh, you know, take advantage of situations they had all game. So. Not great. But it wasn't a terrible loss. So hopefully tomorrow they can kind of get back on the horse, get things right, kind of, you know, go into the game with a little bit of a renewed focus. What time do they play tomorrow? Two o'clock. Oh, same time. All right, Verland. Yeah, we should, we should actually be able to win this game. This shouldn't be too bad for us. Um, we just got to play a little bit better than that. Yeah, oh yeah, they'd have won this game without the errors. The errors doomed him again, and it almost doomed him yesterday. They gotta they gotta get this shit together, especially Torque. He's been playing terribly at first. Um Hopefully the kid gets it together, man. He's he's usually very short handed defensively, so I'm sure the errors are frustrating him more than anybody else. Um Yeah, we have twenty six likes, by the way. If you haven't left one, consider what popping one out on the way out. Uh we'll be live again for the series finale, then for the rest of the games in the week, so we're back covering the Tigers. Um, most likely I'll go live tonight. Um, seems I haven't streamed in a couple nights. so uh, Most likely I'll go live again this afternoon or this evening. It'll be like 10.30, 10.45 at night though when I get out of work. Um, play some MLB The Show. Kind of end the uh, pre end the, like last seven games of the preseason. Then get a bit of the regular season underway. Um, so that way I can finally play on off stream again. All right, I'll see you guys tonight. Uh, MLB The Show stream after I get out of work around. I should be around like 1045. I should be live maybe about 11. Um, that doesn't really matter on Saturdays, though. The late starts. So Hopefully, I'll see you guys there. If not, I'll see you tomorrow for the Tigers, which will be fun. And then Sunday night for anyone interested. Um, I don't know how much you guys like the NFL draft, uh, but we, we will. Our mock draft, our final mock draft is tomorrow. Most likely tomorrow, I'll also be posting my personal mock draft or I'll do that Monday. I haven't quite decided yet. Probably Monday is when I'll post mine. Uh, what's up, Henry? Good game, man. The errors doomed us. I kind of figured they would. Yeah, man. Yeah, I remember. GG. Hopefully we'll see you around tomorrow and going forward. We have plenty of football stuff we'll do, Henry, and all that kind of fun stuff. A fun little game. Unfortunately, the Tigers just are stupid with errors. We'd have won that shit three to two. Yeah, man, for sure. Hopefully I'll see you there. Um, and tonight we play an MLB The Show. Tomorrow we're finishing the series. We got the draft stuff tomorrow night. Uh, Mondays, the Tigers, probably no evening stream because uh, the Tigers play at night. Probably for the next few nights, there may not be gaming streams because uh, it's going to be kind of busy. Um, Tigers play at nighttime. Let me look at this. Um, what is it? All three games against the Rays are at 7 o'clock. 6.50. So, again, I'll be like 7.20 for all those games. Then there's no Tigers on Saturday or Friday or Thursday. And then... I think I work late on Friday that week. I have to look at my schedule for that week. Hold on a sec. I want to see something. I didn't even think about the end of the week. How does that look? I just was kind of caring about the NFL draft stuff. Um, let me check some. Next week. That's what I'm looking for. Nine to four. Saturday. I, I can cover the game Saturday because I work nine to four and then nine to five on Friday. Oh, I have to miss the first Royals game because that's not, I work nine to five and that's at one. So I do have to miss that game. That sucks.
What's uh what's the following week? Sunday, six to twelve thirty, doesn't matter, I'm good. Seven to three, good. Six to two, good. All right, cool. I got everything figured out. Cool, cool, cool. All right, I'll uh, see you guys tomorrow. Have a good night. Um, if I don't see you again, have a good rest of the day. Uh, if, I, if I see you later, I'll see you later tonight. Um, unfortunate loss for the Tigers. Hopefully they play better tomorrow. And uh, yeah, that's it. Go Lions, go Patriots, and of course, it's always go Tigers. I got to go and get ready for work now. Have a good rest of the day, folks. Peace.